<laughs> ah. Okay, hi guys, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Someone told me that I have to push through this, that we're almost done, so let's do this. I forgot we left her here. Hi, Yudi. Here. I pat down Yudi's face and neck with the towel. Uh, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand, but Yuri slowly holds my wrist. Wait. Huh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if, she, if, as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through, slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrap around my wrist, send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. Oh, you didn't kiss. Why didn't you kiss? The moment is, is over as soon as it begins. Yuri picks up her brush again. But her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yudi's example. That should do it. I finish filling the fill fill in the fill in fill in fill in the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Ah, uh, not yet. I need to try first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here, then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case... I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Oof. <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Uh... So you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing the work. Well... Yuri thinks to herself. I think it'd be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It's not like she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this isn't the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk around to the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. I really love her outfit. I cannot pull this off though, like this color, I can't. I would love to, but I can't. <laughs> Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well, th well then. Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I cannot say that without thinking. About today, 
It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Oh, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Mally. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. You're too zoomed in, Yuri. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to, as soon as he suddenly pulls back. Sayori? Ooh. Oh man, why is Sayori like. There's a motorcycle nearby. Okay. Really? Ah. Uh. Uh. Hi, Mally. Why is this awkward? Sayori. Just now, we weren't. Um. <laughs> it's okay, Mally. I just stopped by to say hi. Um. Well, it's. Nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course! Sayori beams. Yes, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. No, sweetie, no. Don't leave me with her. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come over here to see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. Oh my god, why are you crying? Like, I know you have a thing for me. Like, it was obvious from, like, the first part. But, like... <sighs> and that you made such good friends. And that's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. And that's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling like this, Melly? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? <sighs> Sweetie, it's because you were in love with my character, and... <sighs> you know, I'm sorry. It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sorry, don't say that. It's true, Melly. If it wasn't there... If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? What did Monica say? Sayori? Why is it before it's true? I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I would trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Melly. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... And I might like you more than you like me. <sighs> yeah. Thing that, that was really obvious, sweetheart. And you know what? This is gonna be a situation that everyone's gonna go through. Maybe, maybe not, but it's painful. It's painful. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Nelly, I like you so much that I want to die. Ooh, don't do that, sweetie. No guy or person or anyone is worth it. That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? 
Do you still believe me? What the hell? What did I say? Wait. That I always know what's best for you. When did I say this? I'm sorry, I don't remember saying this. Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give to you. Ooh, that's bull. You can't do that. You cannot. Oh no, I'm saving this. Oh, you cannot give that. You can't. You cannot. Oh my god. This is horrible. Because if you say I love you, you're lying to her. Like, you already know you're lying to her if you say I love you. And, like, that's gonna hurt her the most. But if you say you'll always be my dearest friend, that could hurt her in a whole different way. Oh no. I don't wanna lie to her, though. Because, like, even, like, before we even tried to like pursue yuri more than anything like you could tell like he was comfortable with sayori but it wasn't like i don't think he was in love with her either you'll always be my dearest friend ah, that hurts me what you need most is for things to be like they've always been monica monica told me the truth she told me how much happier you seemed after i joined the club and i know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help gain things back to the way they were. I... I see. Oh man, it hurts me. Sunny forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Sayori. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. It's not a punishment, and you weren't being selfish, Sayori. It's just... So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing. You're also right that I just want it to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Nali. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So. So these smiles finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. Oh, I can't do that. It is, it is midnight, honey. I... Ah... Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. All you're gonna get is, ah, <laughs> from me. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. I mean, dude, if you just scream to get that frustration out of you, that is, you know what? I would do the same. Say so looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Uh, where are you going? Sayori. I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more than I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should just be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but decide that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry. I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything and I reassured her. Well, funny enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Oh god. Nelly, <laughs> you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. 
That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica's placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she's prepared that's all the poems were performing. In the end, I found a random poem online and I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. A dummy. You'd think that on days that are important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Molly. Why? I mean, especially after you exchange your exchange with her yesterday. How the fuck do you know, Monica? You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. I mean, like, that's not really a good reason. reason. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really seem like the bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Huh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? Check out the pamphlets. I can't read. They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognized Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different than the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. What? What the hell is this? I get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. What is it? Get out of my head. I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Who said to you? Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Nellie? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else that Yuri's written. But more than that... I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori, so... Uh... Well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Oh, don't strain yourself. My voice is cracking. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. Oh, I have a really bad feeling... Oh my god, and I feel like the game's telling me, but I don't- Like, okay, look, I, I have a feeling, I think I know what's going to happen, and... Monica, if this is- if this is- okay, if what I think is happening, Monica's a bitch for doing puns about it. Oh god, please don't think- please don't be what I think it is. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking to her school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. Oh, please don't be what it is. Please don't be what it is. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? 
She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? Privacy? Privacy. But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Please don't be what it is, what I think it is. Because, oh my god. Like, I think it is. Like, I really think it is. Well, might as well face it. Yep. That's why Monica was just like, you left her hanging this morning. An exception occurred. File game script line. See trace back for details. Okay, so... For some reason, someone told me, Melly, you're gonna need to have the game files open which i'm like okay so we're gonna do that i don't know how i record it so you guys had to just believe that i'm doing this i just don't know how i'll even get to the files because it's not like i really don't like the fact that we have to like stay with that thing hang like not thing but her hanging like that okay steam steam i don't <laughs> god damn it games like I I'm just gonna put Doki Doki because I honestly don't know where to go from there it's searching the PC I mean I wonder if I go to the I don't know how I get the files I, okay let me go to the steam library and kind of go from there properties No, what is local files? Browse local files. Okay, found it. Game. It says script. Okay, so I gotta find the scripts. A script. Chapter 5. I mean, like, it doesn't really tell me anything. I don't think I have this. Nope, I don't have that. Unless I open it with open. Hold on. How do I open this? Can I open it open with the text document? Can I open up with te I used to be able to do that before. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay, what is this? This is kind of creepy. What is this? It says... I think, I wish I could record this. This is weird. It says, beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality is a writhing, twisting mess of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find, into their willpower, striving them of all the motivation and desire into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food or into a newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new skirt. Such a deplorable tangled mass is already present in every single one of them. That's why I chose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. What is, what is this? Line 307? Um... Line 307? Nothing. I mean, I don't... See, trace back for details. Okay. How do I get this? Trace back. Um, game. Game. I'm looking for 
this is line 307. Okay, no, I that's just not lost chapter. a lot of my footage. This is what the hell? What the hell is this a nightmare? So you guys know, like, I'm I'm trying to find out what to do here. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. So you wouldn't do this. Everything was normal until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I don't. I suppressed my urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told you Sayuni I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession? This has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. I feel like I've done something wrong, honestly. Um... I mean, I have no idea. Ugh. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do bring can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 That was the end? Oh, the f What? Um... That's cool! Um... I see an annoying girl running towards me from this distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. This girl is... Um... Uh... Oh... Uh, okay... It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friends groups. Oh, okay, I, I feel really awkward. <laughs> I tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there will be any girls in it anyway. School days and ordinary as ever is oh, okay. I mm, that this doesn't okay. Well, this doesn't seem right, <laughs> and it's now it's over before I know it. Let me let me sync this real quick. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, clubs. That's really aren't any interest me. Oh, besides, most of them would probably be the way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Nelly. Monica, Monica, mm, girl, I I already know some shit's going on with you. What's going on with you, Boo Boo? You freaking doing puns about shit that you shouldn't be doing puns about, Monica? Really? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. Oh my god, it's been a while, right? 
Um, yeah, it has. A few seconds ago. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we're in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so gently feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I've actually quit the debate club. Really? You, you quit? <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Just fucking doggy doggy. Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Fuck like you, Monica. That's what I'm gonna say. Literature. That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing that there's only three of us so far. Three of you? Why would? What? No, we wouldn't with those five of us all together. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Oh, I can see that. But it really, it's really not that boring at all, you know? A literature club can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the classroom, in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga's literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. But besides, a member's a member, right? Dude, you're fucking talking shit. Did Monica say she? Mm. Hey, Molly. Um, I mean, why did was why was it? Why? I mean, by any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Um, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, in that case. Is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I don't like you, Monica. I mean, I like the fact that you're like messing with the game. That's pretty cool. I've seen it several times before, like in different games. Like, I love, I always love that about games when they try to like mess with your files. I love it, man. So, I honestly don't even know where to go from here. So, I honestly don't even know. There's this a one file here that's called Happy Thoughts. And it's a very bad drawing of what we just experienced. Okay, well that's kind of fucked up. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much. Can I even say this at this point? I'm like, Monica, can you? Monica. <gasps> what the fuck? Mon really? Really, Monica? Really? You're gonna you're gonna do that to my saves? You're gonna you're gonna do that to my save? Okay. Okay, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I guess we're not done with this, but we're done with a route. Quote unquote. I guess I I don't I guess. Anyways you guys, I'll see you in my next video in my next live stream. Until next time. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Monica.